Hello again. Thanks for coming back. This is Dennis. I'm going to use Photoshop and show you how to turn this 58 Cadillac front end, which right now looks pristine, and turn it into a junkyard dog. We're going to weather it with rust and dents, and I'm going to start with a nice high res image like this, get my lasso tool, and go ahead and draw out first the shape of where you think a dent might live. Go to filters, liquify. Uh, I've got my brush size at 188, my pressure at 50. It doesn't have to be exactly that. And just go ahead and tickle the middle or move the cursor around to warp the, the, the uh, selection. Click OK. See how that looks? Tickle the middle, she said. Uh, pick another one out. Put one right here next to it, for example. And you know, the more you play with it, the more you get used to the, the effects it can give you. I'm going to put one over the headlight, maybe it looks like it got bashed from above. Filter, liquify, and some distortion here got bashed up a little bit. Uh, maybe right under the emblem here, for example. And maybe one big one right over here above the emblem. Alright, now uh, with that same lasso tool, I'm going to break the headlights. I'm just going to draw jagged edge circles in there, or shapes inside the headlights. Go to Image, Adjustments, Contrast, and Brightness, and turn the brightness all the way down. That just pops out the glass. Same with the other headlight if you want. Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast, and slide it all the way down there. Now I'm going to use that same lasso tool and mess with the grill. Make sure your background is black, your color. And uh, I'm going to pop out some of these ornamental bullets in the grill. Just circle them and hit Control X. Uh, wherever you think this old caddy might have lost some of its teeth over the years. Maybe one there, one near the center here, one down here. Or maybe a whole section here and I uh, can even uh, pick up section of the grill for example here and rather than delete it manipulate it by going to edit free transform excuse me free transform and then uh, tilting it rotating it left or right click the check mark when you're happy to apply your transformation and you'll see the grill piece here is kind of hanging down like it's hanging by a thread. Okay, now it's time to add some color, some rust. So I'm going to go into my color picker. I've already picked my rust color, which I, I think looks a lot like brick. A little bit off the red into the orange, a little bit lower than the mid space section for a darker look like brick. Click OK. Get your brush tool. I've got it at 27 size. Opacity should be under 50. You want some transparency. I happen to be at 43. And just start applying your color where you think water would accumulate over the years usually around the the edges and the bottom of shapes where water would sit for periods of time this old car has been here for out there forever so pretty much everywhere like on the surface where it's been in the rain the top surface keep the brush down don't let go of it and reapply until the second coat um, we want some purpose to that. On the bumper here. If we had more time, we could mask out the black behind the grill and then color rust out these little ornamental bullets. But we don't really have time, so I'm just going to suggest some rust. But you don't want it on the black or it won't look right. Okay, now a second layer of rust within the boundaries of where you'd already laid some down. You want the denser rust within the perimeters with an edge that's a little bit more faded. Rust tends to spread out like cancer they say. All those car guys will tell you, oh it's got too much cancer which means it's rusted. Uh, right here on the, they call these I think bumper, I think they call them Dagmar bumpers back in the 50s. They're crazy wild styling but kinda like it. 
All right, now we're going to add a uh, texture to the rust to make it look like rust. So I go back to my lasso tool and I draw over the rusty areas where it's, again, leaving a perimeter, a, a boundary that's a little bit lighter. And go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And there's an Add Noise uh, menu box window that has amount, Gaussian distribution, or uniform distribution. I've got it set at 6.37 on this particular image. Uh, the distribution at Gaussian in the monochromatic box is checked. It might be hard to see that in YouTube compressed video, but believe me, it looks a lot like rust when you add this grainy texture to it. I'm going to do the top of the hood now. I'm going to hit Control F to apply the filter, which is another way. Uh, quick shortcut right here on the bumper, right here, Control F. Right here, Control F, right here, Control F, right here too. Uh, now, since I still have this freehand lasso tool, I'm going to draw a crack here freehand, right where this dent is. It looks like the paint would have chipped there. And I'm going to put color inside of that and apply the filter, Control F. Oops, forgot under the emblem. I might use a polygonal straight tool for this because I want to hug the bottom of this Cadillac Chevron symbol. So I want a pretty straight line there. And again, apply that filter noise. All right. Now, I like to use the smudge tool to kind of bring the color down, to smudge it down. Oops, still have a mask tool on. Um, smear it down like so. I've got the strength at 43, the size of the brush is at 9, and you want to just create some runs or some streaks coming off. You can go up into the rust color so they're not all the same size or pull down. And see how it looks pretty realistic like it's been running down with the water and over the years. Like, like, uh, like an old ship that hasn't been painted or underneath the portholes in the anchor you'll see Typically, rust looks like it's been flowing like a little waterfall. All right, and uh, finally, I'm going to add one more effect. Wherever you think the rust would be, it's worse, where it's eaten through the metal, like right here at the bottom of the fender. I'm going to add a filter called it's a texture filter, texture called Cracolure. Must be a French word. And you can adjust the spacing, the depth, or the brightness. I like the way it looks right now, so I'm just going to click OK. See how effective that looks? Use a straight tool again here. Hug the bottom of the emblem and draw out a space where I want that crack allure effect. Control F or click on the cracked or filter. And uh, there you have it. Um, pretty effective, I think, and uh, easy to do. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, Send me your comments and your, um, your stars, and I'll have some more cool stuff for you in the future. Thanks for watching. Ying Froggy out.